Hi, my name is Sajid Shirazpur. I work in the ITGOS department in Buena Park for Nutrilite. I'm here to introduce the mobile manufacturing execution system and visual factory. So this is our visual factory system. Visual factory is meant to show the production of the line throughout your order, throughout the day, throughout every shift. So right now you can see two different lines on this on visual factory. You have the gray line, that's your standard line. That's the rate in which the line leads, the, the line itself should be moving. The other line, the blue line, that's the actual line. That's the actual rate in which the line leads and the line is actually currently running. You could see when they started this order that they actually started it a little slow, but they eventually made it up and now they have far surpassed the, the standard line. This is our mobile MES system. This has only been introduced to packaging so far. They have been our pilot program. Before this came along, the line leads, they would have to come in and put everything that they, that they observed on a piece of paper. If they didn't have a piece of paper, they would have to remember it and try to put it into the computer later on. With this, anything that happens on the line, whether it's a visual factory related thing, the line is down, if they want to do tests, all of that could be done anywhere on the line, anywhere on the floor, as long as they have this in their hand. So I'm going to try to show you from beginning to end what the packaging floor really does. Over here you have all the bottles that are needed for these tablets. They go into the bottle unscrambler. The bottle unscrambler puts them right side up and that's when they get inserted onto the conveyor belt. The conveyor belt will go across the line and that's when the tablets will be fed into them. The tablets are fed in manually, but if one of those columns over there are empty, it is her job to enter in the, the missing vitamin. After you go through that, the conveyor belt's gonna go through a check wear. This check wear is gonna see if a bottle is too light or too heavy. Too light means that they don't have enough uh, tablets. Too heavy means that they have too many tablets. The conveyor belt will just shoot those bottles off the line so that there is a consistency with all the tablet numbers. Going further through the line, we go through the metal detector. All bottles must go through the metal detector, make sure that there's nothing harmful into the bottles and everything is, is good. Next we have the capper. The capper will go and screw on to all the bottles one by one individually and come out with empty and now you have a full. Under those cappers, you have the heat induction seal. You might recognize those heat induction seals when you go to the pharmacy and you have what, that thin layer between the cap and the bottle. That's inserted in between. So once that's on, that's just on until it goes to the induction seal. The induction sealer is a heater. The heater will heat that seal onto the bottle so it sticks in nice and tight. And over here is where we have the labeler. The bottles will go in individually into this machine and just circle around this and as it circles around it, it will put on a nice label and it's this job's machine not only to put on the label but to make sure that the label is put on correctly, put on uh, straight and put on without any creases or without any ripples. Once the label is put on, it will come back onto the conveyor belt and this is the sensor that I was telling you about earlier, the sensor that is connected to Visual Factory. When it passes this sensor, this yellow sensor right here, that number will go up one more. And right now, since the line has stopped, you can see that Visual Factory has stopped as well. And now that it's started back on, Visual Factory is counting again, the label is working, and after it's all done, it goes to the final conveyor belt where the line lead will grab the bottles and insert the bottles into a box. My name is Araceli Lopez. I have been working on NutriLife for 19 years, 10 years on inspection. On inspection, we are sure that 
100% is uh, quality. Well, when you are expecting, you can notice the, the good ones. You can see it, uh, they're the same level. That's, I'm, I'm sure they're the same. If they're the same label, level, there is uh, the same tablet. See, this tablet has a little bit cheap on the edge, so I just take it apart and reject it. Even if I'm looking just for dark spot, I take whatever I found is wrong, like just on the edge, they have cheap, so I just take it apart. Oh, Araceli has been with us for over 15 years, and she is that employee that has that eye for quality that amazes me. So I'm just really proud to have Araceli in our staff, and she could help us, you know, increase the quality that we're always striving to get. As an associate scientist at Amway, my job is to discover new functional ingredients to use in our products. So I'm prepping all of the solutions I'm going to need to run the DPPH assay. We'll be able to see if we have any antioxidants that we could possibly use in our Neutralite vitamins. To do this job, I work closely with our Biomech FX workstation. It can perform a lot of the pipetting steps that I would have to do by hand. It can do 96 at once, where I would have to do one at a time. The way the DPPH assay works is we use a chemical, diphenylpicrylhydrolazil, which is a purple color. When you add a botanical to it, a plant or a flower, if that plant or flower is an antioxidant, it turns to a yellow color. So we can see right away if we have an antioxidant. When I started college, I wanted to be a psychologist, and then I had to take one biology class, and it fascinated me how perfect the human body was. Everything that's working inside your body has to work perfectly all day, every day, for you to survive. I love the exploration, I love the experimentation, I love a new thing every day, and that led me to Amway. My name is Jen Patterson, and I'm an associate scientist at Amway. Using high performance liquid chromatography to analyze 
SA, DPG, A8, and AA2G in finished products. A is salicylic acid, AA2G is ascorbic acid, 2 glucoside, DPG is dipotassium glycerhizamine. Now, what exactly I do? I'm working on consolidating those three methods for approximately seven, five to seven different finished products down into hopefully one method that will analyze all three of the analytes for any finished product that we're going to have. Okay, so in order to keep you guys awake midway through this video, Yep. Okay, so... Okay. Ready? <laughs> Whenever you're ready. Actually, can we start over? Uh, also... Okay. Actually, can we start over? Go ahead. What I've enjoyed most about working at Amway is the opportunity set to allow me to And go. Wait, 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 wait. When you're ready. Whenever you are. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Go whenever you want. 